Hello, my name is Carlos. Uh, I'm in my grove, my avocado grove here in Homestead, Florida. It is the end of August. And as you can see, we have cut some trees, accumulated the debris which will be mulched right in there. And the purpose that we're doing this is to change these varieties on these tall trees that you're looking at right now. They have not been producing very well. And what we want to do is capture the method in which an avocado tree is changed from one variety to another one. First thing I want to show you is what we do to the tree. Uh, we cut the tree and we're going to wait for this tree in a few months, probably less, start sprouting back in what I call water shoots. And we are going to graft on those water shoots the new variety of avocado. We always paint with special pruning paint to make sure that no disease enters into the tree. This tree uh, today is September 18. These are one of the trees that were cut the first week in August for purposes of top working them. As you could see, they are coming back very nicely. And these are the shoots that we're going to use to graft. Sometimes it happens like this, a very nice healthy tree Six, seven weeks past the time they were cut and nothing is happening. Some of the trees take a long time, sometimes several months, for them to start to grow back. Another one here, typical case. Six weeks after they were cut, this tree will grow very nicely and we will have many places to graft the new variety. You see, more coming in here. Very nice. We're going to pick a good spot here, which I think is this. If you wonder what, what I have in my hand, uh, you probably are right. It is a scalpel. To me, it's a lot easier to buy scalpels that I can replace uh, the blade with uh, 50, 60 cents. Uh, and it's always sharp. I have a problem uh, sharpening grafting knives. With this system I could buy enough blades so I could always have a clean sharp blade. I will post below where I get these from Cincinnati uh, Surgical. They're very nice people. So we go we make a cut like that first and then we take a slice. Shoop, it came out perfect. One shot. Shave it up on here a little bit. Perfect. We'll prepare this now. The receiving end. It's a little here a little bit in an angle and there There we go, it's ready. 
Let's do another one here. Try to get a slice in one shot. Perfect. Okay, Let's, I'm gonna put my hand behind so the focus would work a little bit better. try to cut on one side and leave this one intact so it'll give it a chance to also grow see uh, we're gonna do a few more others maybe one here this is a big trunk this is a small branch so we just have to find the right spot I think here might be a good spot okay there we're gonna cut from here there As always, we're going to push it to one side to make sure there is connection with the cambium. We'll make a cut from here. Perfect fit. Finally, we have put uh, six uh, grafts onto this tree. What we are going to do is we're going to prune it, uh, cut all the endings, so the tree will start uh, working on the grafts. For whatever reason they don't take, um, I'll be able to wrap this by January or the end of December again. A few weeks later, ranging anywhere between 6 to uh, 12 weeks, you begin to see some growth. This is the piece that was uh, grafted. Uh, this is the original water shoot. We, we have removed all the leaves from it. And we, as this gets big, we tie it to give it some support. There is another one over here. And to some lesser degree, they all don't grow the same way. To a lesser degree, this one, you can see it's small. It's a very small. But on this particular tree, we are set because we have three uh, grafts that have taken. 
Uh, we have some here that have not taken, probably down the road. I'm just going to cut this and let these uh, grow because I think there, there is enough to, uh, to make the, this, this a successful graft. Another one here uh, that we did, this is a Nishikawa that we grafted onto a Dupuy. Uh, you can see that it has the same, uh, here is the grafted uh, wood, and here is the... This one was like a hundred percent success. This is another one here. It's growing soon. Probably in a few days we're going to come back and strip the plastic and just tie it with one piece to give it some support. But even the ones that are slow, like this, small ones, uh, it's taken everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. This tree is a hundred percent, a hundred percent. These success. are the uh, arus we uh, grafted in early December. It's now mid February. You see how uh, big this is. It's even flowering. Uh, we are probably going to. Um, support this, it already has been supported, supported, so you, you use the old water chute to support it too. This is the beauty about this method. We have another one here, basically the same way, it's got some uh, This one, the flower came out, no leaves yet, but soon that you will see the leaves that come out. So you use this to support. I always like to remove the. Um, I always like to remove the new growth to so this will down here will keep pushing. This one is not doing very well, but it's it's still green and it's alive. You see the green point. So some take two weeks, three weeks, some you don't see any growth for six, seven weeks, you know, maybe sometimes even longer. Sometimes this method uh, never doesn't cease to amaze me. This was grafted on January 24 and it is less than a month now, uh, February uh, 18, uh, less than a month. <laughs> actually like three weeks and look at this thing take off. It never stopped growing from day one. This was a cauliflower stage, now it's pushing out the flowers. Not only on this one, we only got two pieces of buttwood of this variety, so I was really hoping to make it count and it did. Both appear to have taken uh, real well. So this is three weeks. Sometimes to get to this stage it could take you Three months. This is how a successful graft or change of variety of an avocado tree should look like. This tree was grafted at the end of January and it is now the end of August. The process has taken about seven, eight months and the tree looks wonderful, good color, a lot of branches. I remember doing this tree we put three grafts on different water shoots. Uh, 